Easy guys, Yao G here, here, it's Open Your Day, has been a good one so far, and welcome to something that I very, very rarely do on the channel, a tutorial, but I've been asked a few times by a few people how I put my own MPC files together for Jedi Academy, so here we go, and i got to tell you guys, it's going to be pretty basic, I mean there's probably a million and one ways you can do this, but this is just my way, and also, I'm probably not going to edit much of this video, so it might be a bit sketchy but we'll get there in the end so straight off the bat guys you know jedi academy pretty damn popular and with anything that's popular on the internet there's always going to be a ton of butt munchers around that are trying to screw you over with viruses and so forth certainly mr wonko here i'm using some antivirus just you know i'm sure he spelt that wrong and there should be a couple of a's there because he certainly is there's viruses on his files the two main websites i use Firstly, our jkhub.org. I've never found any files on there that have got anything nasty or detrimental for your system on there. The other one I use sometimes is moddb.com. And i got to tell you, I have had a couple of files from there that have had some WS reputation viruses on, which is not too bad, but it's still a freaking virus. So my advice, if you want to be real safe, go with the JK Hub and just check the files with the antivirus before you unzip them you know so we're going to be making our own Kanan Jarrus MPC file today and we're going to be basically using the Darth Maul mod to make it with so go ahead and search for it I will put links in the description for where these two files come from first one's Kanan Jarrus from the JK hub as you can see it doesn't come with MPC support so we'll just go ahead and download that little puppy and I'm going to save it to my desktop let's keep it simple I'm sure there's a ton of other bump on there but it should be alright and we'll go ahead and download I mean I've just searched for Darth Maul you know it's the second one on the list JK Hub it's a DT Darth Maul 3.0 I'm not actually yeah I have got this file originally alright so we'll go ahead and download that puppy again to the desktop and as you can see this one does have MPC support which is what we're after so once you've got the files, we're just going to go to the area where we've saved them and we're going to unzip them. So we'll start with a mole file and for this I use a program called 7-Zip. I can't be doing with all the WinZip and all the rest of them that leave loads of bump on your system. WinZip's freeware and it's been out for about 15 years. You can Google it and find it no problem. So we'll just extract the files to the desktop. There they are on the left and we'll do the same for the Canaan files, extract them to the desktop. We'll just drag them over here so they're a bit easier to see what we're doing with and we're going to start with a Canaan one we'll open it up and as you can see it's a .pk3 file which is a bit of a funky file extension but luckily 7-zip has no problem with it as I said before I don't use any of the other unzip programs I don't know if they can unzip them but 7-zip does everything I need it to do straight off the bat so we'll just go ahead and open the archive and as you can see there's three main folders in here models shaders and sound the one we're looking for which has the mpc files isn't there so we'll go ahead just move this out of the way a little bit so we see what we're doing and we'll go into the mall file we're looking for the pk3 file again it's dt underscore mall right click 7-zip and we're gonna open the archive <laughs> now here we've got a ton of files we've got bot files we've got scripts we've also got the one we're looking for which is the ext underscore data file if i just go into that and show you there's the mpc folder he's also got saber folders if you go into the mpc again we've got the actual dot mpc file which is the main file we're after so we're just going to go ahead and drag that right over into the cane and zip folder if we just move these out of the way or move on to that it's going to give me the option to save it which we will straight away we've got the extension underscore data folder so i'm just going to minimize the other bump get it out of the way and we'll go straight in to this file here i'm going to delete the sabers we don't want those we don't want canaan spawning with darth maul saber might look funky but it's not what we're after we'll go into the mpc folder and for this i'm going to rename this to canaan so we'll just go ahead keeping the extension of dot mpc 
however you want to type it doesn't really matter you could call it what you want but we want to call it something specific so the one thing we do need to know before we go any further if we just go a little bit back into the models folder and further into the players folder is the actual name of this folder here now it, obviously it's Canaan but it's with an uppercase K so if we just go in that basically there is all the files that are going to spawn the single player and multiplayer model we're going to use those to spawn our own NPC so back into the extension data folder and into the file folder where the NPC file is and we're going to open this gives you some options I like to use wordpad I found notepad doesn't lay it out properly and I like to untick this because I basically don't want any association with any program that may delete the .mpc file it has to be left in its own integrity so we'll choose wordpad and we'll let open it up now at this point it's worth noting for some people this option may work for me on Windows 7 I have no problem with editing this and then saving it and away we go if as I am at the minute using Windows 10 you may have some issues so there's a further little thing I like to do we'll just close this down and you can do it either way this way I'm going to show you now I would say is the most fail safe way to do it so just drag the Canaan MPC file over to your desktop and open it right there again with WordPad on ticking that and we're going to go in and we're just going to rename this at the top this is basically the command you're going to use in the game as the NPC spawn and then this command here so you can call it whatever you want you know flobby whatever as long as you put NPC spawn flobby it's going to spawn this file obviously we're going to put Canaan we're going to keep that one lowercase and the player model this is where it's going to call to those files so we're going to go uppercase K A N A N Canaan now I'm not going to change the actual there's a ton of stuff in here that you can mess with and tweak you know all his attributes and so forth but at the top it's got his saber I'm not going to change it to saber more simply because we've deleted the actual saber files so it will default to a normal saber but what I will do is change the red to blue and a little bit further down I also want to make him a friendly NPC so where it says player team team enemy I'm just going to change that in uppercase I like to keep these as they are to player and the one below it enemy team team enemy now I can set the good old Kanan to fight the baddies <laughs> and that's pretty much it so we'll just go ahead and save that and then we'll drag it from the desktop back into the zip folder and tick the yes that's pretty much it so now what we need to do is get the PK free file and copy it to the base folder of wherever you've installed your Jedi Academy for me unfortunately I've installed it with Steam on this PC I'm not a great fan I do have it on my other PC from a, a disk install believe it or not and for me modding it works a lot lot better but nevertheless into the game data into the base folder and just paste it right there now that should be it we'll load up Jedi Academy and we'll see if it works so obviously if you're regular to my channel you know that I predominantly use this for doing AI battles between the NPC so I'll show you a few funky commands that I've found along the way and I use a mod called EOC3 and for this I have to come into the game menu and actually pause the game for my commands to work once I've done that I'm gonna hit that button above the tab button actually hold shift and hit that button above the tab button you know the one I mean it's the one with a little dash I have no idea what it's called and then type CG underscore draw 2d space 0 and that's gonna get rid of all the bump on the screen so now we've got a pretty nice clean screen the next one I'm going to do is open the console command again using that button above tab and shift and type give all what this is going to do is give me all the weapons in the game for my use and to test it I'll just come out and hit number two and away we go we've also got the pistol 
and a nice sort of first person perspective we can actually get that a little bit better and we can get rid of the gun back into the console command and I'm going to type R underscore Z near space and you can choose a number here guys mess about with the numbers if you want I found anything between sort of 35 and 45 works best so we'll hit 40 and boom the gun's gone next thing we want to do because we don't want the NPCs attacking us is type no target it's worth noting these can be in lowercase or uppercase it doesn't really matter the last one is God and I gotta be honest I am a little dubious as to whether that works properly or not I don't actually die but I still do get caught in lightning damage and certain things there is another command you can use which I usually use after I've spawned the NPCs in which is no clip it, that means you can float around the air if you don't use no clip you're just going to be running on the ground so the choice is yours with no clip you can actually fly through walls also so I will show you that one but obviously the next command we want is NPC spawn and if it all works and I spell it right <laughs> Canaan we should get a Canaan spawning and there he is the second one just to show you that it's working properly as you can see he's spawned if we can find out where he is with a saber it's worth noting on that JK hub site there is also a Canaan Jarris Hilt which you can also put into the zip folder as I did before and as you saw with the Darth Maul file you should be able to work out where to put it if you don't want to do it that way you can actually just drag the Canaan Jarris Hilt dot PK3 file into the base folder of your Jedi Academy and it should load up when you spawn old Kane and Jarrus in here so let's go ahead and spawn someone else in we'll open the console command and we'll type NPC spawn Doff one of my favorites of late Mr. Malgus Doff underscore Malgus looking pretty sick twisted and evil as always so as I said we're not using no clip at the minute so if you do want to use no clip it is a pretty simple one to input it's simply no clip and as you can see now I'm flying around so the third or rather the last thing for us to do is just kick this battle into action so for EOC 3 I'm back into the console command I'm gonna unpause the game hit resume and away they go so there we have it guys that's how I tweak and sort of make my own NPC files if you follow it you should be able to make any NPC files you want from any files you download from JK Hill but for now guys really hope this one's been a little bit useful for you if it is hit that like button and give us a thumbs up we really appreciate it and it really helps us out a lot if you've not subscribed already hey go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more damn Kanan went down fast there he might need his health tweaking but for now guys, thanks for watching, take it easy and bye for now.